do you guys like to see houses go from green to clean? Then you do not want to miss this one. Okay guys, here we are on location yet again. You see this, we are going to be downstreaming this house. I am all ready to go. I've been here for about 10 minutes. And what I did before, um, you know, before anything is I did the home protection. So I covered all the, Veri the Verizon box, see the bag over there, and I covered your outlet. So pretty much ready to go. I am doing the basement stairwell and this one as well. You guys are not gonna get to see that because I do not want to make this video too long but you see down there tremendous amount of mold mildew so we are gonna sauce that up real good so you guys can can see that I want to let that sauce sit for at least you know 10 to 15 minutes and you guys are gonna get to see me uh, downstream today oh and how we got this customer by the way um, it's it's kind of an interesting story so we do the five neighbors so this house here right next door we just did it a couple months ago but uh so uh the reason why this is such an interesting story at least to me is that so six years ago i picked up these neighbors over here and this and this this little cul-de-sac only has about like eight or nine houses and this was the first time in my career uh that i did 10 houses in one day if you guys ever wondered if that's possible, I know some of you guys have mentioned that to me before, and it is. You know, you gotta have the right equipment, the right skill set. But what actually really helped me out that day is that I did all the neighbors here. You know what I mean? On the same day. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at all that mold right there. Ooh, ooh, melting right off with that. I'm, um, I'm working with a uh, 6% solution here, 50-50 mix. So you guys uh, see that? And I had uh, also used my bucket here, blue bucket right there, to, um, ooh, look at that moss, guys, you see that? See all that moss right there? Yeah, ooh, nasty stuff. So we'll let that sit for a little bit. Uh, yeah, so that's very interesting coming back here after all these years, you know, I mean, as a company, as a team, you know, me between me and my guys, we've been coming here for a few years now. But I just thought it was interesting because when I saw this on the schedule that the office manager gave me for me to come out and create some content for you guys, I was like, oh man, I remember this. And yeah, see how this this side here is really bad with the algae. Yeah, so uh, this was uh, the first time ever in my career that i did 10 houses in one day oh that's as far as my line will get guys so we'll hit that from right here try to go all the way around but this is a pretty big house i'm gonna say it's a 3200 square foot house i see it all the way up there i got some bird poop up there um and by the way so uh originally we got this one because we were doing the neighbors that was my point but how we originally very very originally got in the neighborhood was because of google my business so the person at the end of the cul-de-sac the funny thing is that person actually doesn't even live here anymore they sold their house which is kind of funny so the person called and uh back then so this was six years ago because i was still answering the phone so it was shortly after that is when i got the office manager <clears throat> so what happened was the person was like Oh, can you give me a discount if, you, if I pick up the neighbors? I was like, yeah, of course we can do that for you. Yeah, just let me know. I can knock off, uh, you know, 50 bucks if you pick up the neighbor. And they're like, what if I get all my neighbors? I was like, well, probably do your house for free, depending on how many. And that's what that person did. They got four neighbors for me. And so I did their house. This was one of them. The one I'm at right now is another one of them. And that's how I got these five houses. And that was an awesome day because uh, it wasn't the very first time that I made over three grand. But I think it was only maybe eight or nine times at that point that I had done that. Uh, over three grand in one day. 
as a business. And, you know, I was, I was right around the stage of uh, getting ready to uh, hire people and stuff like that. But yeah, I went out by myself that day and made three grand. Cause I washed these five houses. Then I went to another neighborhood and washed two that were neighbors. And then I went to another neighborhood and washed two. That brought me to nine. And then on my way back to the shop, I washed the house by itself. That's how I got to 10. But again, I mean, you know, it was with the, the, the route, proper route and all that. I was using a four gallon a minute machine. It wasn't a full start. It was a key start. It was a key start, but it was a four gallon a minute machine. So it wasn't like the creme de la creme equipment. Uh, and then back then I was using a 4% mix, um, not a six like how we use in today's, all of our trucks. But there you have it. So that's how we got this, uh, this customer. Cause we were already in the neighborhood. They saw the truck and uh, they were uh, recommended. You know, recommended by the, the neighbor there that signed everybody up. And they found us originally not, not because we were in the neighborhood, but because of Google My Business. That's what I meant to say. That Google My Business. Now, you new guys that are listening to this. Oh, guys, that's already making a big difference down there. Look at that. It's already turning, going from black to like a brownish sort of color. Let's go down there real quick. And, ooh. Nine. How many times I've tripped over the wand going downstairs. Um, we'll, uh, we'll get all of this stuff right here. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. This, this hasn't been cleaned in a, in a long time. I don't think since I did it the first time. There you go. Now I'll be able to, uh, whoa, that's a big old frog. Big old frog. You guys see that? Probably not. Probably can't really see what I'm seeing right now. Oh, look at that big piece of moss. We'll leave that right there, out of the way. Uh, what I recommend to you guys, by the way, is that, you know, you stick to <clears throat> like three or four marketing things. And, you know, uh, <clears throat> all you gotta do is email me. My email is super easy to find. It's actually in the description below. You email me and See guys right there, home protection. I don't know if you can see this, look, I, I put a small piece of tape on the key lock and one piece of tape over the, over the outlet. Um, you know, as a new guy, if you, if you email me, I will email you back our template, our marketing uh, blueprint for new guys. Like what you should be focused on as a, as a new and one, to me, this is to me. Anyone that's under three years, uh, you're, you're, I would consider you new. And if you've been in it for five years, but you're, you're doing it part time, I would also consider you new as well. Like if you have, um, you know, if you're out there full time and you have over three years of experience in a field, yeah, then you're gonna know some stuff. Cause you know, when we're in season out here, guys, you know, we're working what, I don't know about you guys, but I'm working, I'm in my 11th season and I'm working 80 plus hours a week. You know, it's not uncommon for me to go over a hundred. A lot of times, uh, my old lady, she works, uh, she has a job where she works on Sundays. She's a pharmacist and she works on Sundays at the pharmacy. And so on Sundays, when she leaves to go to work, I go to the shop and I'm at the shop for five, six hours doing maintenance on the equipment. And so, you know, that's not uncommon for you when you run a pressure washing business because, you know, during the week, you just don't have time to be dealing with your equipment and all of that. So you, 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 you tend to do that on your days off. So, oh, it's really green and black right there. So going back here to the task at hand, how to downstream a house like a professional, you see that? I just switched to my shooter tip. So you wanna go from corner, from one corner of the wall to the other corner, using your fan tip. Ooh, you got a bird poop right there, bird poop spot. Using your fan tip, you wanna go as high as you can with your fan tip. And then just like how you saw me do right now, 
you switch you switch from uh, from your fan tip to your shooter tip look at that guys you probably can't see it really good on a camera but right below the soffit there the last like 18 inches right there is just full of mildew right there it is i mean it is melting right off like butter like butter there you go so you're getting a little bit of sauce here because you have a, a, a big bird bird poop stain right there and it was causing a lot of problems right there organic stain so yeah guys that's what you want to do as a new guy you know you want to focus on two three things that work really well you know and i can like i said i can send you the blueprint on that you see that up there guys right there by the window on the left oh look at that and i'm what 60 feet away from the house you see that that's how professionals get a house done without using ladder look at that i'm easily 60 feet away from the house and at a, at a weird angle too look at that shooter tip baby look at that and if you're wondering by the way uh what equipment i'm rocking just watch episode two in that episode i actually do a complete walk around of that that uh the rig that i'm using right now it's a uh it's a uh <clears throat> truck rig and you'll see the equipment that i have that i'm using on on this job site and all that so but yeah this is uh how you want to do it so you see how i started on that left side on the corner now i'm at the other corner i go as far as i can with my fin tip then when i can't go any further i switch to my shooter tip pretty much that easy and uh, the house wash whether you're soft washing see that guys look i'm switching to my shooter tip right there <clears throat> and the house wash divided up into two parts by the way you have the 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 saucing up part which is what i'm doing right now i'm applying soap applying the company solution to the house lathering it up real good see that oh those soffits up there they're full of mildew you know it makes me think whenever you see that by the way guys where it's really 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 the worst part is right below the soffits it's usually because their gutters uh, are are over over spilling overflowing so we're going to talk to them about getting making sure they're getting their gutters cleaned out before i leave i'm going to ask her the last time they had their gutters done because it's, it's like the worst part of the house is right below the gutter line so that's a telltale sign that there's something growing in the gutters there you go now all we have is this wall the front i'm just hitting it with water reason for that being is nothing but brick nothing up there and there's not a one organic stain anywhere so i'm just going to do these three sides and i am going to do the front because she's got some bird poop uh two windows have bird poop stains on them and you know i don't put chemical on things that i don't need to put chemical on why would i do that right there's not a stain anywhere and there's no siding up there it's just brick so i do i do touch it up i'm going to pressure wash a couple spots and then that's it <clears throat> there you go hitting these window sills and you probably can't tell on camera but right between where the where the the slats where the the boards there meet is real green real real green and this is what you want to be doing as a new guy by the way you know a uh, new guy um you want to get out there and you want to master the art of downstreaming you know one of the things that we're actually doing as a company starting next year we're switching all of our uh, systems back to just downstreaming for for the all of our technicians downstreaming is super universal super easy to do with the right equipment the right chemical uh you're doing a house in less than an hour right i'll be here for a little over an hour today because i'm doing a basement stairwell but that was an upcharge of 100 bucks this house by the way we're charging 475 for this house wash so 475 plus 100 that's 575 in an hour and 15 minutes that it will take me i'll take that yeah i'll take that all day okay guys you see that so uh with my fan tip and you can i don't know if you can tell here at least how windy it is i'm making it to you see that the wind it's it's it, i'm only oh sorry about that guys you probably got a bunch of chemical right on the lens i don't know uh how well you guys are going to be seeing me now but it it came right back 
um, but I'm only going about maybe 20, 30 feet. And I'm gonna show you guys a tip here. So whenever it's windy, I'm about 10 feet away from the wall. Whenever it's windy, what you wanna do is you wanna come really close to the wall. See that, guys? I'm kind of like parallel to the wall right here. Look at that. I'm reaching all the way up there now. See that? You wanna get parallel to the wall. See that? I'm reaching the, the, the soffits now. And I'm like a foot away from the wall. That's what you want to do when it's windy outside. Look at that. I'm already re reaching all the way up there. No problem. How many times I've had a technician call from the field. I can't finish the wash. It's too windy. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. I'm hitting all the way up there. I'm trying to avoid looking up because uh, I don't want to get more sauce on the camera. That looks pretty good. Look at that. All wet. Done. We'll let that sit a little bit, guys, because that's what you want to do. You want to uh, sauce it up in phase one. I'm not going to sit here and wait for the solution to, you know, to start working right away. You know, the dwell time on these things, you're talking about eight, between eight to 12 minutes. So we're going to let that marinate as it were you know let that sit for a little bit oh right underneath that window right there it's probably the worst part to the left that window right there yeah there you go so yeah that's what you want to do when it's windy outside you just you go super close to the wall you hug the wall just like that so we'll let that sit now what I'm doing, since I already hit all three sides with, with, with sauce, I'm coming through now and I'm going to do what's called spot treating. I'm literally just looking for any spot that it looks funky. That's black or green. Look at that, guys. I mean, man, that's about 60, 65 feet away. Look at that. Almost hitting like the peak of that. Oh, oh there you go. Hit the peak. Now I hit that right there. Touching up the soffits again because it was it was really the worst side here in this back. These soffits were nasty. That looks pretty good. Now, you guys remember a second ago when we were here and there was a big bird poop stain right there? Look at that wall now. There you go. There you have it. That's a palm print right there. I'm gonna rub it, rub it a little bit. Yep palm print get yourself some good gloves guys helps they just had this uh, I don't know if you can tell here but they just installed this patio I think she said a week ago so put a little bit more sauce down there look at all that oh that's nasty down there guys a lot of mud down there got frogs on there let me know in the comment section, any of you guys have phobias to frogs, things like that? You know, my old man, that was his uh, biggest fear, his biggest phobia, frogs. Man, he was terrified of frogs. He could see a snake, pick it up with his hand. Uh, yeah, I don't know that he was afraid of anything else but frogs. Because that, that man, he was tough as nails, but man, he hated himself, some frogs. Something that happened to him, I think, when he was a kid with frogs. Ooh, look at that, guys. Look how green that one is. Ooh. I'm gonna have to hit that with my fan tip. So again, I'm on the second round now, right? So I'm spot treating. <clears throat> hit that again. Spot treat that real good. I knew this one was gonna be a little bit more of a challenge simply because, you know, we're uh, what's it called? The wind. You know what I mean? It's a little bit windy. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's taking. Taking my sauce. And we still got to do that half, this half of the wall too. But I'm going to come around from the other side and do that. That's going to be easy breeze because that's not that bad. It's got a little bit of green on it, but this was, really, this was the worst part. That's when we get to that side. Oh, look at that, guys. That's pretty much done almost. Let that marinate a little bit. That's it. My stairwell is going to be ready to rock and roll. 
that looks pretty good. Got a couple of bed spots right here. I think that's a palm print right here as well. There you go. Wow, this looks good. It's uh, this side, all these three sides are pretty much ready for rents. Look at this side. Wow. You know, as a new guy, you want to, uh, ooh. Yeah, I don't see any green anywhere. You want to stay focused on um, <clears throat> inexpensive, yet highly effective ways to market your business. You know what I mean? Um, you want to be able to get out there and <clears throat> do some boots on the ground type of marketing. Get your name out there. That's what that blueprint's all about. Giving you guys sort of like a guidance, you know, a little bit of guidance in that area so you're not doing things out in the dark so this this customer here is i want to say it's the if it's not the fourth it's right there it's like the third or fourth time we do their house so and this one here my technicians did it a couple months ago i want to say like four months ago that's what you want to do you want to build build your name and your brand you know that takes a little bit of time of course to do that but it's a beautiful thing when you do it well you know i forgot to mention this you guys one of the things that i did do when i pulled up is i asked him to move his truck that black truck right there he did not want to get any sauce on that you know that's very important because you know the the solution you never know it's really rare for sh to ruin paint you know car paint but you never want to take that chance because we have done it where you know we went i went to this was very beginning i want to say my second year i went to a house and i hit i hit that with that hot sauce i was doing some soft washing there hit it with that six percent straight man it completely nuked like completely nuked the paint on the car that's why we have a rule you know in a company that got to move the cars from the driveway especially if they're dark colored definitely 100 percent no questions asked there you go yeah this neighborhood here for some reason i don't know if, i've always wanted to drive around more to see if they have a lake because man they got a lot of bird issues i'm gonna say it's uh, like seagulls or something bird poop heaven over here they get all over these homes and the roof and stuff i've come into this neighborhood to do roof cleaning freaking bird poop all over the roof and it's shocking that they uh, sit on a roof like that because roofs they get really hot can't imagine you know it's like 200 degrees on that shingle when it gets really hot out but these birds out here man they they don't care they're gangsters <laughs> they're gangsters guys but that's what you want to do when you're uh when you're downstreaming you know you you go through phase one you know um you just want to make sure you get a lot of sauce on it we're about to start our final um our final round where we're going to go through and spot check one last time make sure everything look it's a little bit windy but look see how i go close to the wall and boom look how far i'm reaching all the way up there all the way up to the eave right there boom i'm hitting the soffits done just like that easy peasy kind of trying to stay away from the house a little bit because uh, all the chemicals hitting the camera um, oh you know what i meant to ask you guys too if you could put this in a comment section uh do you guys like when we record with the gopro do you like the other format do you care uh, nobody made a comment. Uh, I also, well, I guess I forgot to ask you guys this. If you, uh, if you're okay with, uh, you know, us doing, you know, half an hour, 45 minute type videos, you know, because now you're, you're getting the whole house wash, obviously, you know, if we're doing the whole video, if we're doing the whole, the whole wash with a, uh, GoPro, can't really put it on time-lapse like that. Oh, guys, there's bird poop right there, look. Right on the, what's it called, facial board? And then right there, a little bit of bird poop. 
There you go. So we'll go, th we'll go uh, back around. We're gonna check, make sure how much better that looks. All right, guys, let's walk around real quick. We'll let that sit a little bit, let it marinate. Love these trees she's got in the front right here. Beautiful plum trees. That's the truck right there, episode two. Guys, look, look that up. And by the way, if you are new and you're kind of confused by, by all the, the, the talk that we're talking about here, the chemical and the 6%, 50-50 mix, and you don't really understand what any of that means, I, I recommend, I suggest you go back and into our archives, watch episode 10. In that episode, we break down for you all of the chemicals of the pressure washing business. Well, I mean, the essential ones, you know, uh, your rust removal. Oh, there's a little bit of uh, mildew right underneath that window. Uh, rust removal, your uh, oil stain removal, degreasers, surfactants, and of course your SH or your bleach. We go over that with you. And what's awesome about what I really like about that video, that episode, is in it there's a Bax mixing calculator in there for you guys. and with that armed with that knowledge you'll be able to make your own house mix and that's what you guys really need to be able to run your businesses you know make your own solution your own house mix oh there's a weird thing right there there you go right there that's just a little bit of like spider what's it called nests type stuff and a little bit of mildew right there and again, guys, what I'm doing right now is, again, I'm just going through a, like a second round of spot treating. That's all I'm doing. Just hitting spots that look kind of funky, look kind of weird, right? Okay. Now we're back here to this uh, side here. Remember, my hose only goes to about the halfway point, which is about right here. Ooh, look at that pipe down there. And uh, that's what you want to do as a new guy, you know. I always say this. It takes three things for you to make money in this business. Um, you got to have skill out in the field. Of course, you acquire that with experience, being out there, putting in the work. And then the other thing that you're going to need. Well, I thought that up there was a bird poop stain. I don't know if you can see it really well, but that's actually a hole in the siding. Little, little hole in the siding. Like about the size of an egg. Um, Got to have that skill. Comes from years of being out there. You know, putting in that time and stuff. Once you get that skill out in the field, you marry that with uh, chemical knowledge. So every time you go to a house, you're able to look at a situation and go, okay, I can hit it with this. I can hit it with that. I'm going to knock that out. So you marry chemical knowledge with experience and then as you, as you gain more experience and you're making more money, you invest in your equipment, you upgrade your equipment. And that's your perfect marriage right there. You have skill combined by chemical knowledge. Oh well, look guys, my line got trapped, look, boom. Um, <clears throat> combined with chemical knowledge and finally upgraded equipment. <clears throat> And if you go to every house and you have skill and you know what you're doing with chemicals and you have the right equipment, man, wow. Guys, you're gonna make some money. You're gonna make some money. So happy today, guys. I mean, look at this, the sun's not out. I'm gonna say it's like 70, 75, 74 degrees outside, like, Man, I've been working, all of us, right? Uh, I, have a, I have a coaching client of mine that uh, lives, in, um, <laughs> lives in Arizona, guys. He was telling me that was 108 degrees the other day. He was out washing houses. 108. Man, I'm out here complaining about 97. I was like, oh, man, I need to shut up. My guy's out there hustling in a 100 plus degree weather that's crazy that's crazy hot 108 degrees but it seems like the 
I don't know you guys where you are in the country, but it seems like it, it slowed down a lot from my point of view. Like this week, it's way better. So anyway, there you go, guys. This wall's 100%. As I went around, I was eyeballing those other walls. I mean, there's nothing left to do in terms of chemicals. So we're going to come through. And we're going to rinse. Rinse, 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 baby. <clears throat> Show you guys here how we do that. Okay, what you saw me do there is I took my siphon tube out of my chemical and I put it into the water. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm at the halfway point, let's say the halfway point, and now I'm going to rinse. So the goal with rinsing is you want to make sure that when you leave, when you leave that property, right? Let me pull my line here, guys. When you leave that property, that the walls the windows and the, and the plants are chemical free that's that's the most important thing right there you know you don't want to damage people's things and then the second part about that is uh you know because i switched my siphon tube now the siphon tube is pulling water instead of chemical what's important about that is i'm rinsing out my downstream deck see that See that right there? You can see it there, look. No chemical at all. So now I go high and you don't have to sit here. I'm not gonna sit here and hit this, you know, hit this with like 30, 30 minutes is an exaggeration, but let's say even 10 minutes on this one wall, putting water on it, no. I just wanna get enough water where I'm diluting the chemical. I don't have to go board by board. I want to get any debris, any debris that's on it, rinsed off, rinse off any chemical off of the windows, and that's it. You know, once you're, because I'm rinsing from the top to the bottom, all of that water is just rinsing down and it's taking all the chemical with it. You see that? And uh, windows you want to put about 10 seconds, five seconds on each piece of glass. You go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Look at all that water. Lots and lots of water that's rinsing down. There you go, look at that. I can see from here, window just looks crystal clear, guys. There you go, put a little bit of water on the wall. Remember this, this part that I'm rinsing right now? It already got a bunch of water from up there that came running down. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Look at that. And by the way, I'm like 20 feet away from the wall right here. You don't want to get too close with your shooter tip. You will break screens or windows. And I try to hit it. See how I'm hitting it from an angle right there? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, we were talking about the importance of marketing. You know, you can also go back uh, and, and watch, you know, if this is uh, your first time coming to the Mr. Bubbles channel. First off, welcome. But uh, make sure you go back and, and watch our marketing series. It's uh, episodes 51, 51 through 59. Watch all of that. Take notes. Watch each episode like two, three times. And, and apply. That's the most important part. I always, we always talk about that. You want to make sure that you apply the, the knowledge. Oh, there was a bird poop up there, but it's already gone. You see how spotless things up here are? Look at that. There was a piece of siding up there, but there's nothing on it. Nothing, absolutely nothing on it. And her gutters up here, these, uh, you notice the ones in the back were really bad, but the ones up here, spotless. Nothing on it. There you go. Just putting a little bit of water to, because you still have a little bit of leftover pollen, a little bit of dust on the windows. So that's cleaning that right up. And I'm gonna hit this, uh, the two windows down here and the door, the door and the window with a little bit of sauce. Not sauce, I'm sorry guys, water. Look at that, palm prints and stuff. Oh, 
a lot of dust on that um, shutter. <clears throat> Recently, uh, we had a house. Uh, I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my channel. We talk about upsells a lot. We had a house. What we do is, whenever those um, shutters are really bad, like hers are nice, perfect. They look like they were recently painted, actually. But when they're really, really oxidized, you can hit that with a little bit of LA Awesome that you pick up at the dollar store. Comes out like butter. Like, makes it brand new, basically. Okay, we're coming to the end guys we only, get, we only got this wall here and the back side and that's it we're done and i don't even have to worry that much about rinsing because uh you got tremendous amount of rainstorm coming uh, i said it's going to start pouring around three o'clock it's like one o'clock right now this is my third job today by the way third and final job there you go this looks nice windows look pretty good these window sills the window sills around the window man they were green 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 makes sense right next to the street too i'm gonna switch to my shooter tip here because a little bit harder here with the fan tip because of the wind wow that looks nice but yeah i was saying about the marketing series you know you go back and that that's going to be your bible right there your 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 marketing bible for this business for this industry guys you apply even half of that stuff that i taught you on there coached you up on that man your business is going to thrive your business is going to grow you know look at that guys hit that window all the way from over here boom rinse that off a little bit doesn't have too much soap on it i think i mentioned this in my episode 10 in our house mix there's barely any surfactant i mean we're talking half an ounce per gallon i know a lot of you guys don't actually know what that means but i mean it's like barely any in there we just put a little bit in there because of the scent and that's it not really that much surfactant in there and where that helps you out a lot is in the rinsing because you don't have a lot of soap that you have to rinse off if you notice that the house that we do there's you know every house that i've done here at the mr bubbles channel if you've noticed if you go back to all of them you'll see that there's hardly any soap on any of the houses but you can see the windows here they're really full of soap i mean full of chemical but yeah you don't have a lot of your suds you know so that helps you out in the rinsing make it a little bit easier so imagine guys you know like i said i mean it's going to take me in the end yeah i've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds if not well no i'm sorry i've done a couple thousand jobs just like this where it's the basement stairwell and the house together for over 500 bucks and if you can you know through an aggressive marketing campaign guerrilla marketing get out there with some boots on the ground get out there and pick up four of these jobs a day that's two thousand dollars a day Think about it, you know, back when we were employees, right? When you, you were an employee with a boss, were you making $2,000 a week, right? You guys remember how much crap we had to put up with at the workplace from, from coworkers and all kinds of stuff, you know, all kinds of dumb stuff in the corporate world we had to deal with just so we could make what, a thousand bucks a week? And now you have the potential to go out there and make it in, in, in a day, what you used to make in two weeks. See that? Again, I'm just letting that water run down and dilute that chemical down to nothing. So when I leave here, remember the goal is have the walls, the windows, plants, chemical free. And I really don't have to worry about the grass or anything here. Because like I said, I mean, one, it's getting a lot of water through the rinse that we're doing right now. But also we got tremendous amount of storm. They say it's supposed to be some kind of super storm of some kind. I'm getting a lot of rain like that. Actually, uh, what day was it? Those three days last week where uh, my whole town was out of water. Uh, not water, was it called? Out of electricity for 
uh, about 18 hours. And it sucks because it happened like at six o'clock at night. You know what I mean? It didn't happen while we were at work. And it happened when we came home from work. And then I had to go all night without any uh, AC or anything. It's amazing. Like I'm from Brazil and I grew up without that stuff. But when you get used to that stuff, you know what I mean? You get used to having that AC. There you have it, guys. So I'll step back here so you can see it. Um, I, st I got the basement st stairwell left. I mean, it's going to take me 10, 15 minutes to do that, but I don't want to record that with the GoPro because the battery's kind of low. But you can see where we're at, where we're looking at. House looks beautiful, all that green. We definitely, definitely 100%, we took this house from green to clean. So there you have it. But uh, that is all I got for you guys today. I really, really appreciate you coming to my channel and watching this how to downstream a house video. In the next episode, we are doing another house wash. So that's going to be something really uh, cool for you guys to see back to back. I don't know if we've ever done that before. And uh, so make sure you tune in for that one. And uh, if you guys have any questions, my email is in the description below. So go ahead and email me. I love hearing from you guys. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bubbles out.